Give me a beat. Oh, here we go. Hip hop, hippity hop. I'm looking for the eggs at the bunny bro. Where's my shirt? Oh, a fucking green one. I'm so excited. I just came out and I'm like looking for Easter eggs. Let me look, let me look, let me look. There's a purple one right there by the snail. Hello, snail. How you feeling? Oh, look, a red one, a red one. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, goodness, can you tell me more? Let me look way, way down. There's one. Oh, yes. A blue one. Whoa. Oh, the last one. How exciting. How exciting. Oh, I gotta go show Miss Beverly right now. Oh, I got Miss Beverly. Oh, what is in this thing? Oh, it's a Tootsie Roll. Mm -mm. Easter goodness right there. Oh, oh, hey, there's Miss Beverly. I gotta show her my Easter eggs. Miss Beverly, look. Hey, Bug oh, Bird. I was over in the growing place, hip hop hipping and looking for bunny eggs. You were, well, it looks like you found a few eggs. This one had a tootsie roll. Yeah, and it was yummy for you to have, huh? Mm, delicious. <laughs> well, I'm glad you had fun hunting your Easter eggs. Oh, I did, I did. Are you ready to help me now? Boom, with an experiment. That's right. We are learning Bible science, remember? I uh, remember. That's right. I like right. Bible science. And we are learning that we are having experiments in faith. Wait. That's right. And we're learning that God, God created, created the heavens and the earth, earth and everything, everything in it. it. And pure, pure science will always point us back to our loving Creator. creator. Remember, Bugberta, that we have already learned about the praise experiment. I remember. And we learned about the forgiveness experiment. That was pretty cool. It, Our sins disappeared exactly. by Jesus. Exactly. Uh -huh. And today we're going to talk about the salvation experiment. Oh, this sounds very interesting. It is interesting. Are you ready to help me? I am always ready to help you. Okay. Everyone. Well, let's go right over here. I'm supposed to ask you to add water check this out. to our jelly marbles. You know why I brought my binoculars? Why? Because we're still doing church in the wild. <laughs> <laughs> Let me check this out. These are okay. Melly Jarbles? They are jelly marbles. Melly Jarbles, that's what I said. Okay, let me put this up. Okay. okay. So you're just going to add water. And guys and girls, water. you guys just need to watch. All right, here we go. Dun, 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 dun. Oh. oh, do I keep adding? Yes, keep adding. Keep adding. Well, Miss Beverly, it's like the Melly Gerbils are gone, baby, gone. Look at that. Yes. Look at that. It's like they're gone. Whoa, let me look what's They're still in there. But it looks like they have gone. It Miss looks Beverly. like they have vanished. That is pretty cool. It goes perfect with our Easter lesson. Yes. The Melly Jarbles are there. They are also filled with water. So when you put water in there, they disappear. Like it is empty, like it is gone. That's kind of like it was the morning when Jesus had risen oh, from, from the, the dead. dead. Well, today we are celebrating the fact on Easter Sunday, Woo! we are celebrating that over 2,000 years ago, men and women went to the grave. They went to go pay their respects to a man who had died. But when they got there, the tomb was empty. empty. Jesus had died on the cross. He was nailed to the cross and he hung between two thieves where he suffered a very slow. We and, talked about that in our last one. Yes. It was terrible, yes, terrible death. Yes, a very slow and painful oh, death. It's terrible. And he died on that cross so that he could take the punishment for our sins. And after he died, and Jesus... Everybody thought it was the end. Right. And he really died. He really died. Yes, he really died. And they really cried. And they really cried. And the Jewish leaders really lied. Yes, that too. Mm, it's terrible. It's terrible. It's like I'm writing a poem or something. It's just like that. <gasps> okay, go ahead. Sorry. Okay. All and right. so, he was buried in a tomb. In a tomb that was borrowed. 
And they put this stone... Hold up. How do you borrow a tomb? Well, Jesus wasn't planning on needing a tomb, but he died on Good Friday. He died. It's actually Bad Friday. Yes. He died. And Bad Friday. But that's not the end of the story, okay. Bob Barta. We've got to always remember that three days later... Up from the grave, he rose! That's right. Boom, shakalaka! Incredible! It was incredible, incredible. Oh, what amazing. happened. And when the women took the spices and the perfumes, they were going to put it on Jesus' body. But he was gone. And when they got there, the stone was rolled they away. They looked inside and it was like, it is empty. Where is it? It's yes. gone. He's gone. The tomb was empty. <laughs> Just like it seems like we don't have our jelly I marbles in here in anymore. There. They are still there. And that is science. But Jesus was not in the tomb on Sunday morning. And that's what you call a, a miracle. miracle. <laughs> Most people didn't believe that it was possible for Jesus to come back to life. But the Bible tells us many people saw him after he rose from the dead. So truth, truth. Let's get our Bible and let's look at our verse. Okay. Today, you need to find Luke 24, 36. Luke 24, 36. <clears throat> yes. 24, 36. And go ahead and read it okay. for us, Bugberta. The disciples were still talking about this <laughs> when Jesus himself suddenly stood in the room. Oh, don't you I mean, know? Woo! He scared them disciples to death. <laughs> Not really. They didn't die. He died, but then rose back. But you know what I mean. He scared them. <laughs> then he said, May peace be with you. As if nothing was wrong. <laughs> I think that's so funny. Oh, they were surprised and terrified all at once. Then Jesus said to them, I think this is funny what Jesus said to them. He said, why are you troubled? <laughs> I bet his disciples wanted to go. Duh, Jesus, <laughs> this is why we're troubled. You're scaring us half to death. Are you a ghost? I mean, they didn't even know what was going on. He said, why do you have doubts in your minds? Look at my hands. Look at my feet. It is I. Touch me and see. A ghost does not have a body or bones, but you can see that I do. After he said that, he showed them his hands and his feet. Mm -hmm. But they still did not believe it. I know. Then the Bible says, they were amazed and filled with joy. Every emotion we got, the disciples had it right there in like five seconds when Jesus came into the room. Exactly. Scared them half to death. I find it funny. And he says, Why well, are you troubled? <laughs> That's funny. Jesus, Jesus got a great sense of humor. That is true. Yep, and you does. know, those disciples, they were going. They were having shock and awe. They, they were. Shock and awe. They were amazed to see him alive. But they were also like going through in their mind. They were like, is it real? Is this a ghost? They were saying, possible, impossible. Right. Possible, impossible. Right. Both. And so they weren't there when Jesus was dying. They weren't there. They ran away. They were scared. Yes. Scared. And, and, but they had heard from the others who had been they there. Knew, they and knew. they knew that they Jesus knew. had died. Yep. And so how? How could he possibly be alive? How? We say how. But Jesus told his disciples that this was why he had come. That yes, he was the Son of God. And yes, he was the Messiah. And yes, he was alive. Amazing, Miss Beverly, amazing. And he alone had the power to forgive our sins and to give us new life. That's the part I really like, the new life part. I know. Well, the forgiven part is awesome. And then the new life part is so cool. It is so cool. He doesn't want to just forgive our sins and then leave us the same. 
That's right. Jesus. Because, because Jesus is so amazing. You know, we just, at Christmas time, we learn about how Jesus was born a little baby in the manger. Feliz Navidad. Mm -hmm. And then he had his parents. His parents were simple people. Like, his dad was a carpenter and Mary, his mom. She was you know, a stay-at-home mom. Yeah. Working from home. The angels came and the angels sang. Hallelujah. <laughs> and then the wise men came. I mean, everything about Jesus was a big deal. Everything about Jesus was a big deal. Later on, when Jesus went to Jerusalem, he was there on a mission. And he was headed for the cross. He willingly gave his life for us. That's amazing. I don't know anybody who would do that. No. And the whole story of the Bible has been oh, building... Sorry. To this moment. It's all about Jesus. That's right. We were sinners. We've all sinned, which means we've done things that hurt God and that hurt others. That's right. And we can never save ourselves because we are too sinful. Yep. So God sent his son Jesus to the world so he could save us, so he could forgive us. That is so cool. Jesus died so that he could forgive us of our sin. So today, during this Easter season, it is so important that we truly make Him the Lord of our lives. Make Him be in charge of us. Yes. Oh, I and can we do have that. to give Him our life. Give Him our life That's and then right. He makes us new. That's right. Oh. He makes us a new creation. Cool. And so today, my question for you is have you ever asked Jesus to come into your heart? Yes. Have you ever made that choice, said with your own mouth, said those words, mm -hmm. and prayed that prayer and asked Jesus to come into your heart? If you haven't, this is your day. But today, if you have never asked Jesus to come into your heart, will you pray that prayer with me? Will you invite him to come in to your heart? Just close those eyes and let's pray this prayer. Jesus. Jesus. I ask you, I ask you to come into my heart. To come into my heart. I thank you. I thank you that you died on the cross. That you died on the cross to pay the price. To pay the price for my sins. For my sins. So please. So please. Forgive me. Forgive me of all my sins. Of all my sins. Wash my heart. Wash my heart. White as snow. White as snow. Make my heart. Make my heart your home. Your home. And help me. Help me. To love you. To love you. With all my heart. With all my heart. For all my life. For all my life. I give you. I give you. My life. My life. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Oh, that's now, great. if you prayed that prayer, go tell somebody today. Go tell, tell it on the mountain. Tell someone. I asked Jesus to come into my heart today. Come into my heart today. But you know, Bugberta, sometimes people think that, da-da, salvation is done, and then you don't have to do anything more. But salvation is just the start. Just the beginning. That's right. And so after we have asked Jesus into our heart, it's so important that we, in quest, we have the O word. O-B-E-Y. That's right. We talk about how important it is to, to obey. obey. And it is so important for you to obey God's word. What well, God's word tells us to do, he says we're a new creation. We're different. Yes, yes. And we need to obey our parents. Oh, hey, Miss Barry, that's in the Bible too. Children, obey your parents exactly. in the Lord. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. And we have to obey those who are in charge over, or who are in charge over us. Be respectful and kind. Sometimes, especially right now, while we are still in quarantine, we still have to oh, obey. But. And so we're going to pray, and we're going to ask God to help all of us to just be obedient and to do what God's word says to do. So, Bugberta, let's pray one more time. Okie doke. Because there's a lot. A lot of kids have already asked Jesus into their heart. And that was the first step. But that's just the beginning. we got to keep obeying after Jesus is in our heart. That's so, right. So, let's pray. Okay. Jesus, 
Jesus, I thank you. I thank you for your love, for your love, for your help, for your help, and your forgiveness. And your forgiveness. Please help me. Please help me to obey. To obey. To do what your word says. To do what your word, the Bible says, all the time. All the time. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Now we got to remember, just like we have talked about today it is so important to obey to do what god's word says all the time not just when we choose to not just on sundays right but to obey all the time because that's when jesus works in us and remember our verse i do remember it okay when, so let's say our verse okay all right okay ready when, when anyone, anyone lives, lives in, in christ, christ the new, new creation, creation has come, come. The old is gone, the new is here. Second Corinthians 5.17 So, taking this verse mm -hmm. and applying our lesson today, that means when we receive Jesus, we don't stay the same and keep doing the same stuff. No. We need to be different and new. Yes, we need to be different. So, Bug Berta, yep. have you asked Jesus into your heart? Yes, sirree, Bobcat, I did. Several years ago at VBS, you prayed with mm -hmm. me on a stage. It was the year I was so feared. I was afraid of everything. Lying, crying, dying, sighing, everything. I was afraid of everything. And you told me that the Bible says, when we are afraid, we can trust God. That's and right. you prayed with me, and Jesus came and lived in my heart. That's right. And, and it changed me. I stopped being afraid. Well, that's great. It reminded me of the other verse we did the first couple weeks when it says, To everybody whose hearts are afraid, be strong, do, do not, not fear. fear. Mm -hmm. The Bible tells that's like a command from God, do not fear. So when we receive Jesus, we need to stop being afraid and trust Him. And I, I did that. I'm a new creation. That's right. Yep. And so I'm so glad that you know, I know that Jesus has made a difference in your life. He made a big difference. And so today, sometime, you talk to your parents, talk to your family about how Jesus has made a difference in you. How you are better because Jesus lives in your heart. Because it's so important for us to apply to our lives what we are talking about. It's so important. So tell somebody today how Jesus has made a difference in you. You know what, Miss Beverly? What? It would be pretty cool if kids ask their parents how Jesus made a difference in their lives. Yes. That might help kids understand what salvation does and how it changed their parents. Yeah, because... Yeah. We should be different because Jesus is in us. Yep. So let's say our verse today, today and okay. let's say say it so that we can do our our last game. Reverse game. Oh, uh, okay. You beat me two weeks in a row, Miss Beverly. I got to win today. Okay. Well, we'll see. Are probably you ready? Not, probably not, but I'm going to try. Okay. okay. Now, Bugberta, yep. you know it without looking. I know without looking. You want me to turn around? Oh, whatever you want to do, just so you say the verse. Okay. I'll turn around this way. When anyone lives in Christ, the new creation has come. The old is gone, the new is here. Second Corinthians 5, 17. Did I get that, it right? That's exactly Woo! it. Do I get a piece of candy? Well, I Do I can, get 12 candies? How well, about you've got candy candies? in your Easter eggs. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's good. Okay. So we're going to clear the table off and get ready for our... Okay, we have our memory verse eggs. I'm ready, I'm ready. And so they should have, you guys should have your Easter eggs and you have your words in there so you can do the challenge with us. So on the count of three, Uno. we're going to start. Uno, dos, three. Oh, okay, okay. Hey, I got the pink ones. Oh, I got the yellow ones. Please. Please. I got a hurry, I got a hurry. Baby, everywhere. So let's say our verse. Ready? Did I beat you or was it a I, tie? Well, I think you kind of beat me. <laughs> Hallelujah. Okay, so okay. here we go. Okay. Ready? Yep. When, when anyone lives in Christ, the new creation has come. The old is gone, the new is here. Second Corinthians 5.17. Oh, right on. We remember.
remember that Jesus can give us new, new life. life. Changes us from the inside out. That's right. So today, celebrate. Have a wonderful day with your family. That's right. And remember, Jesus can give us new, new life. life. We'll see you next time.